Welcome to this YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to talk about how the food you eat affects your brain. Have you ever wondered how the food you eat impacts your gray matter and how it works? Before continuing this video, like this video and subscribe to our channel for future updates. Although there are no miracle brain foods that can completely protect against age-related disorders such as Alzheimer's or dementia, and there are many other medical conditions that can affect the brain. What you eat and don't eat can make a difference when it comes to brain health and function, according to the American Institute of Nutrition. We sought the advice of the registered nutritionist Amar Delaney. Following a healthy diet and way of life can give the nutrients and circumstances necessary for the brain to function at its peak performance. Eating a wide variety of fruits and vegetables that are high in vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants will assist to nourish the brain while also protecting it from oxidative stress, which has the ability to damage cells in the body. Several studies have found that following a healthy eating pattern, specifically the Mediterranean diet, can help to maintain brain health. A diet high in fruits and vegetables, whole grains, nuts and seeds, as well as healthy oils and fats is necessary to achieve this. According to research, this is associated with a slower rate of the cognitive decline, a lower chance of cognitive impairment and possibly a decreased risk of dementia in the long run. What is the impact of carbs on the brain? Although the brain only accounts for around 2% of our total body weight, it requires nearly 20% of the glucose-derived energy, indicating that proper diet is essential for optimal brain function. Carbon dioxide and glucose are both essential components of carbohydrates, and glucose also plays a role in the creation of serotonin in the brain. An important neurotransmitter in the regulation of mood and anxiety, serotonin is largely believed to be responsible for this. Carbohydrates such as whole grains, vegetables, fruit, rice, potatoes, and lactose are the most important source of energy for our brain, the sugar that's found in milk. Generally speaking, these are considered to be good sources of carbs, which are broken down by the body into glucose, which is then utilized by our brain to work well. The brain cannot operate properly if it does not receive an adequate supply of glucose. Some scientists believe that refined sugar can have addictive-like effects on the human brain, influencing both behavior and sleep. However, there is no clear data to support this claim at the present time. What is the effect of probiotics on the brain? It's commonly acknowledged that biochemical transmission exists between the gastrointestinal tract and central nervous system and that this communication takes place in both directions. This is referred to as the gut-brain axis in some circles, and it describes the connection that exists between the cognitive and emotional parts of the brain and our gut. A great deal of attention has recently been drawn to the relationship between probiotics, gut health, and brain function. Probiotics, it's believed, alter the processing of information in the gut, which has been shown to be highly associated with anxiety and depression. Probiotic dietary supplements, according to a short study, including 20 healthy volunteers, were found to be connected with fewer negative thoughts associated with depressive moods when compared to those who took a placebo supplement. Another small study found that healthy women who ate probiotic-rich yogurt for four weeks had a lower emotional response when shown photographs of people who were scared, furious, or sad, according to the researchers. While these studies are undoubtedly intriguing, their size and scope are limited, and more research is required before we can draw any strong conclusion about how and why probiotics might affect the mood and how to treat it. What is the impact of fats on the brain? Specific fats are very important to the brain because they are a critical component in the structure of cell membranes and because they play a role in the structure and function of the neurons. Specific fats are found in the brain because they are a key component in the structure of cell membranes 
and they play a role in the structure and function of neurons. We know that omega-3 fatty acids account for around 60% of the brain's composition, with DHA, a form of omega-3 fatty acid found in fish, serving as the primary type and being responsible for ocular and mental development. Omega-3 fatty acids, which may be found in olive oil and oily fish such as salmon, herring, and sardines, are critical for brain development in the womb and during the first few years of life. It's believed that the bulk of brain cells are formed before birth, with the remaining cells being formed throughout the first year of life. As a result, omega-3 fatty acids are extremely important during pregnancy and early development. There's additional evidence to show that a diet deficient in omega-3 fatty acid can have a negative impact on cognition and mood. In addition, a high consumption of these fats has been linked to a reduction in the development and progression of dementia in several studies. Despite these hopeful findings, the association between fat intake and cognitive health has yet to be conclusively established. Hence, once again, larger research are required before we can completely define the relationship between fat intake and cognitive health. What is the relationship between vitamins and minerals and the brain? The B vitamins, as well as vitamin C, D, and E, and magnesium are all critical in the growth and health of the brain. The consumption of a diet high in vitamins and minerals from fruits and vegetables is linked to a lower chance of developing cognitive difficulties as one ages, according to the research findings. It's particularly vital for cells that transport information from nerves to have adequate amounts of thymine and vitamin E vitamin B6, B12, and C, on the other hand, are essential for how the nerve function and develop. ACI berries, spinach, brown rice, and nuts are all high in magnesium, which enhances the ability of nerves to adapt and avoid harm. Magnesium is found in avocados, spinach, brown rice, and almonds. The benefits of this include improved memory, aid in the prevention and treatment of stressful situations, and it is essential for the creation of energy and neurotransmitters. Consumption of vitamins and minerals, according to epidemiologic research, is connected with a lower chance of acquiring cognitive impairments. A number of vitamins and nutrients, including the B vitamins, as well as vitamin E, C, and D, have been recognized as playing critical roles in the maintenance of normal brain function. Members of the B vitamin family, as well as vitamin C, are required for the creation of energy in the brain as well. What's the effect of caffeine on the brain? Caffeine is widely considered to be one of the most extensively utilized psychoactive drug in the world, and it may be found in a wide variety of foods and beverages. According to most experts, it acts on the central nervous system to delay exhaustion and boost alertness when taken in modest amounts making it an ergogenic aid, performance-enhancing substance when taken in large levels. It's possible that the caffeine included in tea is useful for cognition in older persons, but it may be detrimental for those who have difficulty sleeping. Drinking tea and coffee has been associated with improved cognitive performance in humans for many years, according to human epidemiologic studies. The results of a recent meta-analysis analyzing the current evidence on the relationship between caffeine and health outcomes found that the caffeine was consistently related with a lower risk of the Parkinson's diseases, depression, and cognitive problems in the context of Alzheimer's disease. Although these investigations have revealed that this occurs, the specific mechanism and reason for it remain a mystery. What do you think about this video? Do let us know down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.